Good morning, Flare Fishing fam. We are uh, we are at a lake. This is the lake that I won the tournament at a few weeks ago. You guys, you guys may or may not have seen that video. Uh, we are at the same lake. I'm with Matt and Jake, and it is early as heck right now. It's dark. You can see downtown Nebraska, all two buildings right down there, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go pig hunting today. We're going after pretty much big big ones only. This lake is known for having some some pretty quality sized fish. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're not going after numbers, we're going after quality. Of course, we got the net, so that's gonna be exciting when we catch a seven pounder on a crankbait and can't figure out how to get it in the boat. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna get in the boat. Got the old John boat out today. I'm excited, let's catch some fish. I am starting off with a buzz bait. See if we can get some top water fish here. Might, we might catch them flipping too once the sun comes up. If they spawn in here, they'll be in that brush. Yep, water 65, it'll be back here. You got one? First fish of the day? Little guy, huh? Not bad? Matt caught the first one. The old crank, that's the smallest fish I think I've ever came out of this lake. But uh, we're back in this kind of little hidden gem area and I'm trying to catch them on a buzz bait. It's just not working. They should be spawning back here. Water temperature is 66, right in that spawning temperature zone. It's shallow, but I'm not sure not sure why they're not eating the buzz bait. Matt picked up the crankbait and caught a fish. So we're gonna keep on fishing and uh, said I'll probably give the top water maybe 20 more minutes. If I don't get anything, I'll pick up a crankbait and a jig and start flipping and cranking away. See if we can catch a fish. You got one? Yeah. Big one? Uh, oh, no. Jake's hooked up. Oh, another small little guy. We are in the nursery. Wow. Like I said these are the smallest fish I've ever seen come out of this little area. Maybe we're not in, maybe we're not in the big fish area. I don't know. I've never really fished back here. It just looked good on them on a map. And that's why I came back here. Maybe this is where the the small fish like to chill. Maybe this isn't where the brutes are. For deer life, things pulling them around. It's gonna happen. It's a fish. Oh dude, it's huge! Oh my god, it's huge. God, it's massive, it's massive. You're gonna have to grab it. It's so big, dude. It's so big. Here you go, baby. <laughs> dude, I was so afraid it was gonna come off. Oh my god. Well, that's what we were looking for. Dude, I freaking grabbed him and just like pinned him up against the That I was like, this thing is this an absolute slaunch. I've got the scale. <laughs> it's five for sure. God, that's it. That's big in, dude. 512. Yep. I'll, uh, I'll take that, sir. Well, folks, there it is. The first brute of the day. That is why we came here. I ain't caught anything. Jake and Matt caught some small ones. And then I hooked up with a five pounder on a chatterbait. All right, Beth, see you later. There she goes. That was incredible. I thought it was like an eight when it jumped. I was kind of freaking out a little bit more than usual. I mean, I normally freak out all the time, but I thought that one was a giant. It jumped, didn't you guys think it was massive? Yeah. Like, when I thought I, it was like- I looked over, all I saw was a jump. I thought it was like seven at least. Um, regardless, it was a good fish though. So I'm gonna put the camera down. That was a random bait though, chatterbait. I didn't really, I didn't plan on throwing chatterbait today. Of course, you guys know that's kind of my thing is to throw chatterbait and uh, it worked. That fish was spawning, filled with eggs, pre-spawn bass. Good stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's catch some more. Yep. Decent. I'll take them. Right up there on the on the bank. Yeah, they're I mean they're on the beds for sure. Look at their look how bloody their tails are. I'll take that one. Not a giant, definitely not nearly as big as my other first one, but we were just saying there's gotta be some up here. This 
Water is perfect temperature for spawning. We're just back in this little bay area. Caught that one five pounder, moved back here. Caught a smaller one, little bloody tail. See you later, Zachary. Sick. That was on a weightless Stanko, Chatterbaits and Stankos, I know. Big surprise, guys, big freaking surprise. But anytime the water's calm like this, I always stick with a, a weightless Sanko. There's, it's a good spawn fishing bait, a bed fishing bait, when you can't see the fish. I know Peric gave me hell for saying a chatterbait's the best bait, but as you guys saw, I caught a five pounder. And then when the water's calm, I always throw a, just a weightless, weightless Sanko, Wacky Rick Sanko. Either one of those work pretty, pretty stinking well. But the, the water's chocolate milk here. You can't see the fish. So you're just, you're fishing for spawning fish blind. And a good way to cover water is a chatterbait. And a good way to uh, do more of a precise presentation is a little Texas rig Sanko. We'll go halfway down this bank and we're gonna skedaddle to the other side where we started. There's one. Whoa, 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 Oh, God dang, son. Oh, why are these fish so freaking fast? Holy crap, dude. Just on a random like seawall of a bank. He came at me so freaking quick, I couldn't catch up with him. And then when I did, he launched himself six feet in the air. The morning started off slow. I mean, that's not a, that's not a big and by any means, but I'll, I'll take him a little, little one pounder. Started off so freaking slow. We, we didn't really catch much more than just kind of some squeakers. And I caught that big one and now we're starting to get these fish kind of dialed in. That was on another, another Stanko. I've never seen a fish jump that high before. That was kind of impressive. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, he came off. Oh, there's nothing you could do about that one, though. You set the hook hard. I watched you. Well, Matt just lost about a three-pounder. It's a good fish. We're just flipping this wall. I've never even fished this area of the lake before. Just literally just a concrete wall. I've never caught fish like this. Just There's nothing there. We're, we're in three feet of water on a concrete wall. It's crazy. There's one. Another little guy. These are just all these males up on this wall. I don't know what they're doing, if they're feeding or what, but I don't know where the big girls are at. They're not here. We need to, we need to make a move, find some more Sheilas, some big Beckys and Beths and Lisas. All right, Freddy, see you, buddy. More squeak, squeak, McGee's. Oh, there's one. Oh, it's a big one. Stay down, stay down. This is, this is a crankbait, so just be careful. Actually, I'll, I'll get her, I'll get her. I don't want you to get hooked. No, it's fine, I got her. She's got it good. Woo! You think she ate that? We got 354. Another uh, another good fish. That's a three and a half pounder on the uh, on the old crankbait. Bye, Felicia. Felicia's good. She's bleeding a little bit. I uh, the crankbait got her like kind of down in the gills, but did a little bit of surgery. She'll be she'll be good to go. That's good. That's a random fish. Again, most random spot ever. Just it was like in the middle of this little pocket area. Not sure why there was a fish there, but I'll take it. Three and a half pounder and a five pounder. A couple squeakers. So far so good. I still got one more juice spot to hit after uh, after this little area where we're hoping hopefully gonna break one of these guys pb both are both are pbs right on five and a half pounds so my goal today is to get one of them to catch a six pounder there's one yep i can't tell yep it's a good one no they're freaking good fish on the crankbait not a giant Woo! two pounder they're just literally the most random place worth catching them. All right, there we go. Another chunky little two pound largemouth. This is the crankbait that I'm throwing. Just a bluegill brim looking something or other. It matches the water clarity, which I don't get at all. Like this, the brown right there, that's the color of the water. So I have no idea why I'm catching fish on this. This is just the crankbait that I had tied on. And this is the crankbait that I was fishing the tournament with and caught fish as well. So. Normally I'd say throw like chartreuse black back in this type of water, but I guess maybe this is the type of forage they're eating and that's why they like it. There you go. 
There you go. Jake got one. I'll help him grab. All right. All right. Bring him right to me. Jake caught one on the old crankbait. Barely hooked. Check that fatty out, dude. Hell yeah. There we go. That's uh, Jake caught a crankbait. Let me see how fat that thing is. Dude, that thing's a freaking porker. There you go. That is, uh, is that your second fish? Yeah, second. Second fish on the old crankbait. We are just about to make a move. What are you naming that one? Marquise. Marquise? <laughs> we are uh, about to make a move here. We're gonna go to where I fished during the tournament, like a couple weeks ago, you guys saw, where we caught some bigger fish. This is kind of a surprise no, place. That I've never even fished on this end of the lake before and caught some, caught some pretty good fish. So we're gonna finish kind of fishing down this rock bank and then we're gonna fire up the motor, go to the other side. Hopefully one of these two, one of these two guys can uh, break their PB. There's one. Biggin. Biggin? Yep. Good one. It's a good one. Nope. nope. Yeah, that's a biggin. I knew there'd be back here. You got it? Yeah. There it is. That's a freaking biggin. It's a three and a half, I'd say. I ate the old Stanko. We made our way back in this little creek. And, uh,. It's been pretty slow so far. Let's toss this old girl on the on the scale. Definitely, definitely some spawners back here. I, knew, I figured they'd be back here. This is where we started this morning, and I couldn't catch any on a topwater. What did I say? Three and a half? Yeah, three and three quarters. A little bit more than that. Three eight four. About a four pounder. There we go. That is a. Uh, it's a pretty freaking nice fish there. There we go. That is a uh, almost a four pounder. That's a pretty good one. It is. It's now about ten o'clock. So we're, this is our last spot of the day. I'm gonna say goodbye to uh, Shakisha. See you later, Shakisha. And uh, it's the last spot of the day. And we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can basically flip and pitch our way back here. That's exactly what we're after, is those girls right there. We wanna catch a few more before then. Hopefully a big one, like a six, seven, eight pounder would be nice. But you know, I'll take a four pounder, not bad. Get it? Here you go. Is it a good one? Okay, all right, Jake's hooked up. Come back. Oh, he came off, dude. Oh, oh no, we didn't. Whoa. Oh, real. What? He's, that's a fish? Yeah. He's, yeah, he's in the dock. Dude, I thought he came off. I thought he did too. That's a big one. There you go. That's your biggest one yet. Look at that. That's a fatty, dude. Hell yeah, that's on a Sanko. We're back in this little creek area. Sun came up, tossed the old weightless Senko, done did it. It's a big one. What are you naming that one? Uh, Ricardo. Ricardo? That's good. That is a good sign. I had a feeling if we came back here, well, after that sun came up, we might be able to catch a few more fish. Basically, just blind casting. These are, so these fish are on beds, and like I said before, water is chocolate milk. And if it's windy, my go to bait is a chatter bait, regardless of what Peric says. And if it's calm, like this, Weightless Senkos. I don't just blind cast, just fan cast. They basically just go right up against the rocks and you just let it sink and you kind of twitch it here and there. And that's how, we, uh, that's how we're catching these fish back here. Yep. 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 That's a good one. Not giant, but it's a good one. There we go. Jesus. There we go. That's a two and a half, I'd say. He's got a tail in his mouth eating bluegills. That's a fatty right there. I'll take that guy. He's a. Uh, Right, two and two and a half pounds. Again, on the old Stanko. There's one. Oh! Finally. Matt caught a flare fish. He's been uh, kind of on the struggle bus today. I think I'm the first one to catch a fish and probably not the last. Yeah, you caught the first one and probably the last fish, and that's the only, the only two you caught, or did you catch three? No, I think I caught two. You know, that's, that's your second one? Yeah, I think so. Oh, uh, yeah, you're on the struggle bus. Well, at least you caught a fish. A few moments later. We have the boat on the trailer. We're gonna end the day. It is 11.07. We're gonna get some food. We're gonna get some canes. Sounds pretty good right now. We're, uh, yeah, so it was a good day. Caught a five, I think two threes. They were pushing four. It was good. We caught some fish. 
everybody caught fish. Tactics, we uh, they are spawning, and like I said, I think I'm, I probably touched on it in the video, but I'll touch on it again. If it's calm and the water's dirty, throw like a black and blue Senko weightless Texas rigged or wacky rig, and just fan cast along rocks and just any any type of shallow areas that you think they might be bedding. If it's windy, my favorite go-tos are little square bills, like I was catching them on, and chatter baits. Uh, I don't know for some reason I just usually catch fish on those. Top water didn't happen this morning, just like yesterday I went out fishing. Top water didn't happen again. I'm not sure what the deal is with these Nebraska fish, why they don't like the top water. Um, but anyways, I'm sure eventually it'll pick up in the summer. I'm not gonna make this video any longer. I think by the time you guys are watching this, my tournament still should be going on for maybe a couple more days. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link all the video information that you need down below uh, as far as how to enter the tournament. And I'm gonna be hosting, I think the next one I'm gonna do is a Midwest tournament, and then I'll probably do like a Southern one and then like a West Coast one. And right now there's a national tournament. So if you're somewhere in the USA and you wanna fish and try to win some money this weekend, uh, I'll leave all the information for that down below. Thank you so much for watching and peace. Oh, he broke. I'll go get it. Ow!